What is going on YouTube? My name is Barry, one half the Huang Bros. Today we start in my car because we are going to go over the Android 9 screen that I installed yesterday. We're gonna go over some tips and tricks and maybe solve some issues that we are uh, having here, which is uh, essentially the screen being loose. We don't want that while driving, right? So we're trying to figure this out. So the OEM screen comes with the bracket, but this screen does not have a bracket and we'll try to see if it fits and see what happens. So as you notice, if you can't see, there are a bunch of uh, other wires behind there that won't allow the bracket to fit in all the way. So I think that's why this bracket will not wit, uh, work. One thing we will try now is to remove these yellow tabs to place behind uh, so that we can mount it and have it go into the slot correctly. Okay, I managed to get one out. Now to get all the other three. Okay, I got all four clips off. Now I'm gonna apply it to the Android 9 screen. That clicked, so it sounds like it's supposed to be attached. That clicked as well. Down here. And last one over here. Okay, now I'm gonna try to push this in and see if it locks in. I will say it is way more secure than before, but still easily removable if you want to, but it's it's a lot more secure, like 80% more secured. Just the fact that it clicks. I'm gonna put the panel back in. So far, all of the GPS works. It would make sense because the GPS SD card would go in there. So this right here is the original uh, navigation. So no function would be lost on the screen, as you can tell. But now the question is, will this screen move? So far, it's not moving with my finger t uh, touching it. So let's see. Screen did not move. I think we are okay. Now that we put the yellow tabs behind, I think it's okay. I've noticed that it's kind of hard to reach over because I need to move forward and touch the screen and all that. So I think I'm just going to put a little trackpad right here. Or go around here. Alright guys. It's for me to provide you with the best Android Auto 9.0 education, I have to bring you to a parking lot so that is clear of the glare and you can't don't see the sun so let's we start off here at the OEM factory screen I fun fact you can connect a mouse to one of the USBs so all the original functions they should work all right if I press the menu it goes the menu home everything all functions work to activate the screen to the Android Auto we just just click or if you want to you can just uh, Tap the screen, whatever you feel like doing. So it brings us here into the main screen. You got your climate control. You got your uh, vehicle, uh, I guess, monitors. You got your music from the Android Auto. Then you have here your main screen, you got the Navi car. If you were to go back to the original screen, you could click on car. And there you are. And then click the screen again. Now the next part. Uh, you would like to I would say go to settings. You would want to go to settings. Let's go over the automobile settings it's pretty important Like I said in another video you want to go to reverse settings when you put the car in reverse It'll, it'll be in this but you want to switch it to AV signal output that way you can have your lines uh, so 
All right, now let me put it back to what it was. And then reverse. It goes to this. But when you, again, when you switch it back to this, we are good to go. One of the main things uh, you can do uh, is change your language. Languages, so and so, I deleted some of the other ones which were Chinese. Uh, dictionary, virtual keyboard, managed keyboards. So let's connect to Bluetooth. Let's do that. So you need to go to all apps and it will be Bluetooth here. Now it says connect, I need to connect it still. So I'm going to ensure my Bluetooth is on. Yep, my Bluetooth is on. So now I'm gonna go to Bluetooth settings, making sure everything's okay. So my device name is CarKit0246. I could change it, but I'm gonna keep it like that. Actually, I'm gonna change it. Click that. Click this. You can all you could type all this out or delete. I'm gonna do Lexus. Just keep it safe, simple. Lexus. And then done. Now the name is known as Lexus, and hopefully that didn't change anything. And now I'm gonna go to my Bluetooth and try it out and connect. See that works. Oh, the parent call zero zero zero. Allow all the stuff to connect. Oh, it says I'm connected. We shall see. Okay. So that that goes for Bluetooth. Now. I'm you got your MX player, so this is gonna be, you know, your videos. The nice sound is playing. You can hear the sound coming through. So file manager, this is, you should only touch this if you need to really like touch it and like go uh, reinstall or uninstall CarPlay, this and that. So for me, I I uninstalled SigVig, which is that one, um, that, that one app for navigation. If you want to uninstall something, you can hold it and it'll come to this if you uninstall app, but I don't want to uninstall this, no. If you look closely to these right here, this will bring you to this, all right? Task manager. This bring you to the main screen. Uh, this goes somewhere. Oh, that's not the media. This is uh, music. So this is the back button. Oh, that'll be your sound control. This will be your split screen. This will be your, essentially your time. Question is, how do we connect CarPlay? Q-Link is CarPlay. This right here is CarPlay. You might say autoplay, but for some of us, it's Q-Link. Now to do this, um, I'm connected to the USB 2. I have my cable here. So let's try it out. So for me, all I gotta do is just plug it in. All right, that's plugged in. Scroll up, whatever. And then I activate my Q-Link. It says, please connect the phone. So here's the issue. Once you have it connected, it won't connect. You have to remove this and then connect it again. And then if you notice, it's loading. It is loading. Now we're on Waze. Okay, let's say we're using Waze. Let's say we're using all this. We got music, Waze, phone calls. This is Google Maps. We can do this. We can activate the voice. 1620, oh God, it didn't work. 1620 Park Street, Alameda, California. Oh, will you look at that? Go take us there. That's pretty good. Exiting. Okay. Now let's say we go to go gauges. There's last one feature. Now if we go back to say to car. All right. It's just a, it's for purposes. 
They go back. To, let's go back to. We can go back. See, it'll be this, and you're still connected. I didn't connect. I disconnect anything. It'll be like that. So this is what I mean. You have to reconnect sometimes, and then it'll load again. And yep, there we go. Back to CarPlay. All right, let's exit CarPlay and see all the features. Let's uh, try to go to YouTube. Oh, I got some stuff here. So, so here's the thing. <laughs> you're gonna get the screen. You're gonna get the screen right here, right? You, you gotta do, do it, leave it in Chinese or, you know, Chinese or whichever they wanna do. Or leave it in English, which is what I'm gonna do. So, searching in YouTube, let's see. Let's go for Huang Bros. And we search. Hey, that's us. If you haven't already, subscribe. <laughs> Shameless plug. Okay, here's the video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My All name right. is Ben. I have the Huang Bros, and today I have some. So I'm gonna turn, turn up the volume and see what happens. So at that point, get all the four screws out, all ten, all four ten millimeter. I'm gonna have a towel here. That's what it sounds so we like. Don't damage this. Uh, that's currently what it sounds like. Let's go for some music. Any Alesso fans out here? Switch now and get oh, I still got the ads. <laughs> I need an ad, ad blocker. Expand it. Oh, wait, we can split screen it. Oh, look at that, split screen. Got my apps here. See what, if I can do anything else. Chrome, look things up. Oh, wow, look, split screen, Chrome. Reverse it. Reverse it, little button right there. Let's go to task manager. Task manager right there. Clear all, we'll just stop all that. Now we end split screen. Oh, come on, how do you split? Okay. Interesting, so YouTube still works. YouTube music still works while you can use this. While well, I can snoop around, you can still, you can see it right there, it's still playing right here. Go to um, go back to your colors because we use the app, the YouTube app. Yep. McDonald's everyday value. All the reason you need to. Well okay, if I do split screen, now you're you're thinking, okay, this will just switch sides, right? It doesn't do anything. So how do we extend the screen back? You, you're probably wondering. So it's this button right here. Drag it, and it'll be full screen. Saw that? And fortunately, we can't go back. But we can press this again to go full screen. Oh, bam. Okay, there's that. So that's how you go from half screen, split screen to full screen. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this cable so that I can disconnect this cable right here. One, so I can disconnect this cable right here so I can plug in my USB. My USB is connected. Okay, notice that it just popped up right there so I'm gonna take out the drive and do it again so drive comes out it's gone drive goes in loading loading no oh it's back notice it's back so let's go let's take a visit all right oh various feels okay we got all the stuff here so yeah that that works so here I am on my US RC drive, as I call it. I'm gonna try to, I guess, play some music and see what happens. Oh, just like that, it works. So, according to the screen, it told me to just swipe down. Or was it swipe up? Is that a swipe down? If you swipe down, it'll load all the music. If you just saw, it's loading right now. So yeah, it's playing music from my USB drive right now. So if I scroll down, all my music's there. So we have multiple ways of playing music. Now if I go back to the regular home screen. Hey, 
AC info, music info, next song, reverse, back song. Now let's try the controls. Yep, the steering controls work. So all this is functional right now. OEM function is retained. The bass is coming from my sub, so it tells me that the OEM factory music is, or the, mu the music system is working. The Mark Levinson speakers. It doesn't sound too bad either. But what happens if we go back to car? Still works. And now let's see if we use the functions. And it still works. The music still playing? Yep, so all the music works. I'm back at the downloads so I can see all this stuff. Um, not too sure how to actually download something yet. Let me see if I can just download something. Okay, I got this. So one thing that's cool is that, let's say I'm gonna click this. I just realized I did something, I'll click that. Then I'm gonna click move to. And then it's gonna be already automatically on downloads. So you just click move and eventually you'll move you just click move again and it says moving one file let's go back go to downloads bam now it's there of course if you don't want the file click 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 trashed delete three files yes no more but you know what it's still on your thumb drive at least for me it's on my thumb drive Oh, actually, you know what? I accidentally just deleted it. So it sounds like what we want to actually do is click this. You want to copy to. Copy it. You want to copy it and then copy. Because if you move the file, you're actually moving the entire file and then you will have deleted it. So you want to move the file. So don't do what I just did, deleting two of my musics. All right, bam. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Okay. I'm gonna press the home button. That that worked. So, yep, home button, and yep, that works. So, at least we know we can retain a lot of the OEM functions off the steering wheel, the these buttons. So it's all good. But uh, if you think you learned something, or you did learn something, or if you know something that I don't know, please leave a comment below so everyone else can read it and so they can be informed as well. We all like to try new tech and, and like to know everything about that new tech, right? So. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Next video.